Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Bring Division video. What if I guess today is the best way to get GE credits in patch 1.8.3? Yes, if you guys don't know, the Blackout Global event is live right now. If you guys are missing some defense gear pieces, uh, some Deadeye, Striker, or Tactician, you can get on the game right now, play the GE, and hopefully get lucky and get what you need. But like I said, in this video, I want to show you guys the best way and the fastest way to get GE credits. Um, because as you guys know, the caches are pretty expensive. They're 3,000 each. So if you're missing like two gear sets or, uh, you know, four different gear pieces or something like that, it can take you a lot of GE credits to unlock them and a lot of grinding. So as I said, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Also, keep in mind this video is a bit more for new players or returning players or people that don't really play GEs. If you are a veteran and if you have been playing every single global event, you most likely know these steps already, you most likely know these tips and tricks, so again, Keep in mind, this is for kind of new players or returning. Alright, so starting off first, I do want to talk about the solo players. So the first thing you can do that's really easy and really fast is the weekly HVTs. These will offer you between 500, 750, 400 GE credits depending on what difficulty you do them. And they are pretty fast. You can run this pretty much by yourself with a striker build, a nomad build in about 5 minutes, if not less, depending on uh, how quick you can kill the enemies. But as I said, the weekly HVTs, they are not, uh, you know, not something you can repeat. You can do them once and that's pretty much it. But like I said, if you're solo, if you're waiting for your friends to get on, if you are just um, struggling on any other mission, the weekly HVTs are really easy and you get a lot of uh, pretty much loot and also GE credits. As for the daily HVTs, they are decent, but it's not something I would recommend doing uh, because yes, they are pretty easy and yes, they are pretty fast. But they only give you 225 GE credits, which is the hardest one. And again, um, although you can do them in about 2 or 3 minutes, it's only 200 uh, credits. So, I don't know, in my opinion, it's not really worth it at all. But again, if you're solo, uh, these two things you can do and get yourself some free GE credits. The next thing I would recommend is farming the Lexington Event Center. This is hands down the go-to mission every single global event if you are new if you're coming back you're struggling to find a team or to have players pretty much play with you if you go to lexington you will always find a team it's pretty much a guaranteed in about 10 seconds or five seconds you can always find a full team and you guys can just run this and usually the person that's the host will reset the mission uh, once you're complete so you can pretty much do it do it over and over and over again this is pretty easy uh, you get 750 ge credits every single run you can do this in about eight to ten minutes depending on your team um, so once again, on challenging, Lexington is very, very easy and really good. Now the last mission I would recommend doing if you're solo um, is uh, Hudson Refugee Camp. Hudson Refugee Camp is, in my opinion, a little bit longer. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't really timed them or, or anything like that. But it just depends on your team, I guess you could say. Uh, but Hudson Refugee Camp is really good as well. You can pretty much run through most of the parts and the parts you have to get kills. You could just melt them um, if you pop like a damage ult or if you're using like 6 piece classified striker or anything like that. You can get through this pretty fast. Um, again, it's going to take you about 8 to 10 minutes depending on your team. And again, you get 750 G credits every single time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, Hudson Refugee Camp is part of the Blackout um, missions. So you can get an extra 125 G credits if you run a uh, Extreme Blackout or Total Blackout modifier on it. So once again, if you are solo, those two missions and doing the weekly HVTs is a fast way and easy way to get yourself some GE credits. Now, if you're playing with a full team and they are pretty good, the first thing I would recommend doing 100% is Times Square Power Relay Mission. This is a legendary mission and every time you complete it, you get about 1500 GE credits every single run. Now yes, although this can take you a little bit longer, like 15-20 minutes depending on, again, your builds and how good you guys are, and, uh, and communicating and depending if you die or not but if you can do this flawlessly if you can do this pretty easy um again you have to have the kind of perfect setup like a healer and also uh, maybe like a shield build to help you out but if you have all of that packed down um you can do this in about 15 20 minutes and you get 1500 ge credits every single time so every two runs pretty much gives you a ge cash and whatever you need like uh again defense striker tactician anything like that after two runs, you pretty much have enough for one of those caches. Also, you get a lot of credits, you get a lot of Phoenix credits, you also get a lot of loot. So again, if you're missing um, some good weapons, some good gear, whatever the case is, you can do this if you have a solid team. 
The final and best way in my opinion to get GE credits right now is Clear Sky. This is a really good incursion if you are going for loot as well, but during the global events, Clear Sky is the best way hands down to get GE credits if you have a decent team again. You guys can do this in about 4 to 5 to 6 minutes, and you pretty much get 900 GE credits every single time you do this on a heroic. Yes, you have to kind of work together, yes, you kind of have to not die during uh, the mission in order to do this that fast, but once you get it down, once you can do this pretty much in your first try, you get 900 G credits every single time, and you can pretty much, not, I want to say cheese it, but run through most of the parts and uh, just plug in the fuses, kill the boss instantly, and restart it again, and do it again, and do it again. You can also try this if you are solo. There's a lot of people that do this, especially during global events. So if you're solo, if you want to try this, if you know how to do this, but you don't have a party, you can go ahead and matchmake and see what happens. Um, I personally done that a lot. I uh, just matchmake with kind of random people and we have been able to do this pretty quick. It's not like five minutes or anything like that, but um, you know, it, it's pretty fast still. So if you're missing GE credits, if you want to do this, um, and if you maybe have never done a clear sky, you want to try it out, this is your best bet because again, there's going to be a lot of people playing this um, and you know, grinding it over and over and over again. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the video. As I said, this is the best way to get G credits right now. If you guys have been struggling, if you guys don't really get that many G credits that fast, try these steps out, try these missions out, and let me know how it goes for you. Also, let me know your IDs right now in the comment section below, like your PSN, um, your Xbox, your, your PC info, stuff like that. If you guys are looking for a party, maybe someone else is looking for a party as well uh, to run Clear Sky or maybe some Lexington. Uh, so again, let me know your names in the comments right now what times you play and stuff like that, uh, so hopefully you guys can party up and get yourself a team together for Clear Sky or any other mission. But once again, that's it for the video, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.